All right, so in the last video, we talked about what we were building in terms of both the backend using uh, loopback and strong loop and Node.js, Express, et cetera, and the front end using uh, Apache Cordova and Ionic. So we're gonna start by building the backend and we're gonna use strong loops command line. I'm going to assume that you already have everything installed and the blog post for all these videos will tell you exactly what you need installed to actually test out everything I'm showing today. But let's get right to it and look at how we can quickly create a loopback based API. At the command line, I am simply going to create my new loopback application, SLC loopback, and then the application name will do slionic1. And we will take all the defaults and let it work on it. Command line is doing everything. It's creating a new uh, Node.js application with Express and Loopback as well. So we can go right in there and start doing things. Now, we can work with our model at the command line, but I'm going to use the Arc Composer tool to look at it instead. All right, so what you're seeing here is the sign on. Now you have to register at strong loop, but that takes all of five seconds. And let me just log in. And of course, so the composer is where we will start working with a model. Now out of the box, uh, all your data is persisted in memory. So this is really cool for doing quick testing and mockups and stuff like that. So we're going to use the in memory stuff in the beginning. Later on, we'll actually change this to use Cloudint to persist. I'm going to click add a new model and we will call it feed item. If you remember from the first video, our application is really simple. It has essentially a news item with a title and a body. So we'll call it that. Details would be feed items. I'm sorry, the plural. And for properties, we will have first a title that is string and required. And then finally, a body that is also string and also required. And I'll just hit save model. And really, that's it. So let me actually start the server. It's running. We'll open it up and we'll go into the Explorer to look at the API that was automatically generated. We'll go into feed item and let's actually create a quick item. And we'll call this test one and body one and just save it. And <laughs> that's it. Let's make one more two, two and Boom. Now let's see if this actually worked. We'll go into Git and we will test it out. And there's our data. And again, just to be like really sure it's working, I can copy this URL and paste it here. And bam, we're done. We have an API in like three or four minutes.